Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to week 11 of 75 Hardish. This was our last week. It wasn't even a full week. It was only five days. But I have officially completed 75 Hardish. So in saying that, I am doing this week, I'm taking off. I'm still going to be working out. I'm still going to be reading. I'm still going to be listening to my audiobook. I'm still going to be doing the things that I, the habits that I created in 75 Hardish. I'm not just going to be so strict and rigid. And we're also going to talk about my eating and what I'm doing with my eating and my calories after we talk about all of this. And then I do the 75 Hardish weekend review and all that. So let's go ahead and talk about weights. I got on the scale. I was 294.8, which is down two pounds from last week. I am down a total of 36.2 pounds. I'm going to do a 75 hardish video where I talk all about 75 hardish, my results. I'm going to show before and afters. So I'm not going to talk about how much I lost in 75 hardish or during those 75 days, but I am. Um, today telling you that I am down a total of 36.2 pounds since last year and my highest weight of 331 pounds. And I am so incredibly proud of that. I'm so incredibly happy. I'm like, I have four pounds and I can say that I've lost 40 pounds. Like that is amazing. That is amazing. Like I've done 30 pounds before. It's been a minute since I've lost 36 pounds and kept going. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's go ahead and go and do the 75 Hardish in review. And then I will talk about how I plan to eat this whole entire week. Seventy five hardish day seventy two. I took my progress picture. Then I went to the gym and I did just twenty minutes of walking on the treadmill. Hey girl, hey. Then I took a walk outside. So that was my second workout twenty minutes. And I listened to ten minutes of this audiobook, read ten pages of this book. I'm kind of getting into it. I'm like, I don't know if I really like it or not, but we'll see. Anyways, 120 plus ounces of water I drank today, and then these are my stats. I am really happy with today. Um, yeah, I'm ready for 75 hard to be over with day 72 complete. We only have three days left.
Hey, today is day 75 of my 75 hardest challenge. I'm getting it. Here's my progress exit for today. Would it be a 75 hardish this go round if there wasn't rain today? Trying to beat it, so hopefully I do. Let's go take our 20 minute walk outside. All right, on my 20 minute walk outside. There is Bella and it's drizzling a tiny bit, but I'm hoping that the rain rain holds off so we don't have to walk in the rain today. Also, I'm going to be listening to an audiobook. My goal is 10 minutes. Hopefully, do the full 20 because it's really good. Last lock of 75 Hardish complete. Reading my 10 pages. Still don't know how I feel about this book, but I'm going to keep reading it for a little bit. All right, our last 20 minute workouts. Can y'all guess what I'm about to do? We're about to dance for our last 20 minute workout for 75 Cornish. And with that, the only thing I have left to do is drink the rest of my water and I will be done with day 75 of 75 Hardish. All right, my last little bit of water. Oh, I just got some on my nose. 75 Hardish is complete. Day 75, day 75 is done. Okay, so this is such a moment right here. I'm about to mark off the 75. Let's do it together. Day 75 complete. Ah, I did it. I did it. This week, I am eating between a very, very, very slight deficit to almost ma eating at maintenance calories. And here's the reason why. I have seen a lot of, well, several people, several people who have lost a significant amount of weight. And this makes a lot of sense to me. There are two things that they say. Number one, well, let's just say this is the thing that they say. Every eight weeks, give your body a break from a deficit. And here's why. Here's why they recommend doing this. Number one, to give your body a break. But number two, it teaches you and you get to practice what it's going to be like once you lose the weight. Am I falling back into these habits? Am I gonna wake up tomorrow, you know, wanting to eat like a crazy fool? Am I gonna be craving all these things? Am I gonna go to a restaurant and order all this food? I actually was gonna go to Red Lobster and then I was like, you know what? I don't even want it. I wanna go home, I wanna make a salad, which is pretty much what I've been eating almost every day. But I would say like 90% of the time for lunch, I eat a salad. My homemade protein ranch dressing. I am having chips. And I also added a few more croutons and a few more garbanzo beans. So this is just a higher calorie lunch. And I already know those keyboard warriors and those people that are like, oh my gosh, da 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 da. You don't agree, and you know what, I don't care, because this is not your journey. And anyone who's gonna sit there and try to, I don't care, or I don't, I don't care what you think. Because number one, this is not your journey. This is not your story. Now if you, anyone, has been morbidly obese and over 300 pounds and you have suggestions, we can talk. But if you've never been overweight, if you've lost like, Oh, well, I, I was overweight and I lost like 20 pounds. Congratulations, that is amazing. But what worked for you is not going to be what's gonna work for me. And even the people who have lost a considerable amount of weight still are not gonna do things like I do them because I am an individual. So can we please stop pushing our opinions and what we think other people should be doing onto other people? I am just here trying to inspire people. I didn't even know this was a thing until I heard it from other people who have been where I've been, where I am, and have gotten to the other side and have kept it off for a really long time, for years. And the reason why they say to do this to your body and give yourself that practice is because everybody who has lost a considerable amount of weight has said the real work comes in when you lose the weight. 
The easy part is losing that weight. The hard part is keeping it off. And I'm like, no way. Because when you get down, you know, you're going to be all feeling yourself and like, ooh, ooh, ooh. How many times have I felt myself though? How many times have I been so confident, loving the way that I look, and then I go and I eat like a crazy fool and then I just hop back into all of those old habits. So I'm not talking to those of you right now who don't agree with this because this is not your journey. I'm saying this to the people who are in my shoes who have a long way to go with their weight loss journey and maybe they need to hear this too because I am one of those people who have heard it from several people and let me tell you, I've been fighting with myself all day today. And some people are like, why are you going to put yourself through that? Because guess what? When I lose all this weight, because best believe I will lose all this weight. When I get to the finish line, that's again, when the real work is going to come. I can't just fall back into the old habits and the old me. I'm going to have to learn to eat healthy. I'm just going to be eating more. You know what I mean? So in my brain, when I think, oh, I can eat more, it automatically. So I've been fighting with myself already this weekend about don't fall back into those habits, Jill. Don't fall back into those habits. Don't fall back in. Don't fall back in. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm fighting with myself a little bit. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. I am. I am fighting with myself. However, I'm going to learn this just like I'm learning what works for me and what doesn't when it comes to weight loss, I'm going to find what works for me and what doesn't work for me during my maintenance weeks. So that way I can have enough practice to when I reach my goal that I can keep it off. You know, obviously I don't want to lose all this weight and then gain it back. So yeah, my next challenge starts on April 24th, a video is going up on Friday explaining all of that. You guys might get the 75 hardest results video. Mm, I haven't even thought about when I was going to film that. So y'all are going to get that sometime next week. I will probably do that in place since I'm doing maintenance this week. I really am trying to stay off the scale until... I start on April 24th, my next challenge. So I think next Wednesday, instead of doing a weigh-in, I'm a weigh-in video because it's going to kind of be redundant. I'm just going to do my 75 hardest results where y'all will see like the before and after pictures, before and after video. I'll talk about the challenge. I'll talk about the books that I read. I'll talk about how many I read. I'll talk about things I learned, things I liked, things I didn't like, how I felt, where I really noticed the biggest changes, all of that kind of stuff. So uh, I feel like there was something I was I had to say, but I can't remember. But yeah, if y'all want in April 24th, I am starting a new challenge and that video is going to be up on Friday. So make sure you look out for that Friday at 10 a.m. I love you guys and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye guys.